Hey everybody, Carolina Gun Guy here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 7.62x39 Igman brass cased ammo. This video is sponsored by True Shot Gun Club and I want to thank them for sending the ammo out to the channel. This video opened with my first shots of this ammo. I put about 30 rounds through it quickly just to do a function test and all was well. Of course the 7.62x39 is far and away the most popular caliber in the AK pattern platform. Of course AK-47s were made to shoot this round and you typically see steel case ammo like this Wolf Military Classic. You don't see a lot of the brass case ammo like you have here from Igman. AKs were made to shoot steel and they eat it up. Usually in the past, you can get steel a lot cheaper than you can brass, so there hasn't been much of a reason to buy brass versus steel. But right now, things are changing. You can get this Igman ammo brass cased for about the same price that you can buy Wolf. One of the main advantages to brass versus steel is that you can reload the brass if you're into reloading ammo. This is Boxer Primed Brass Igman. I'll just show you a quick shot here of the bottom so you can see the primer as it is. It has a nice good seal right here. I've been looking at the Eggman ammo for a while, wondering how it is, wanting to test it out, and I specifically asked for this ammo from True Shot, and they were kind enough to send it out. But that's enough about the ammo, let's go ahead and get back to some shooting and see how it performs. I'm doing all of the testing today out of my AR-47. AKs may be made to shoot steel, but ARs prefer brass. This is a budget build AR-47 that I did a while ago. It has a Gen 1 upper from Bear Creek Arsenal with an enhanced firing pin that has done well under testing, for the most part, with steel case ammo. I have an SME from Wet Machine on the front, which, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, well, just get one. They're awesome. The best part about True Shot Gun Club providing the ammo for this video is that I don't have to worry about conserving it. Okay, that's enough of that. This video is not really about accuracy at distance. Obviously, I have a one times red dot on it, so I'm not really set up to test out the accuracy. But I do have a target 25 yards down, and I decided to do a quick little five shot grouping just to see what I can get out of it. I'm gonna walk down there and see how we did with that. You know, that's not too bad. What's that, about an inch and a half maybe? That's not too bad, just basically offhand. I mean, kind of using the, the beam as support, but from 25 yards, I'll take that. I decided that five rounds wasn't enough. I wanted to put another nine or 10 rounds down just to see what kind of grouping I could get. And it was during this testing that I had the only malfunction, I guess, of the day. It was the light primer strike. Nothing to do with the ammo. It was the upper completely. I guess the enhanced firing pin just didn't hit it hard enough. That was the only malfunction that I ended up having on the entire day with this ammo. And before we take a look at the target, I'll show you that light primer strike. Here it is. I did load it back up in a subsequent magazine that went through fine later. Here's that grouping, about 14, 15 rounds, 25 yards back, just using the beam for support. It's about a two inch group, so I don't see any issues with the ammo. I don't see any of them kind of flying off into the unknown areas. There's no need for me to show every shot that I took with it, but I did put over 100 rounds through using different magazines. I used 30 round and 10 round magazines, and the only issue I had was that one light primer strike, which again, was probably related to the upper, had nothing to do with the ammo itself. Overall, this ammo passed the test. It worked better in my AR-47 than the steel cased ammo does, and there's the added advantage of being able to reload it if you want to do that. So check out True Shot Gun Club if you want to buy some of this ammo, and if you haven't already joined their A-Zone Rewards Club, I'll put a link in the description for 20 bucks off. It gives you free shipping for a whole year. Take care, guys. God bless.